Hello everybody, my name is David. Thank you for joining me today. This video is about social aggression and the reason I'm doing this video is because, as always, my videos tend to be about narcissists and recovering from the emotional abuse that narcissists uh, do, that a lot of narcissists do to other people. So I think, you know, a lot of us want to be able to identify toxic behavior in people to know if people are toxic and, you know, which people to choose to not be around or to be around. So I think this is something that's important that uh, I'm offering to you guys a little bit more information to help you uh, with the type of behavior that is not acceptable generally in society, but also um, some signs for you guys to look for and, and others. Um, so people, generally human beings, are just aggressive. I mean, that, that's been determined by many scientists throughout history of mankind. Uh, we are tend to be aggressive animals. Um, men, they're a little bit different though between men and women. Men are physically uh, aggressive and they might be sexually, verbally, even financially aggressive. So um, that's a particular way that men tend to be uh, aggressive. That's how it's displayed. That's how it comes out uh, physically. Whereas women tend to be uh, uh, socially or relationally aggressive. So I think those are major differences and um, both are equally horrible. Uh, they are, they really are. When this kind of aggressive behavior comes out, whether it's you know, physically by the man or socially by the woman, they're both destructive to an individual and society, both, okay? Um, so I wanna talk about, because these are, we, I just discussed ways that men are physically abusive, sexually, verbally, financially. And uh, I'm not going to go too much into that today. What I'm going to go into is the social aggressiveness, which is by women generally. And also some toxic men, because some of this women, some of this um, that I explain about uh, aggressive behavior in women, you'll also say, oh, well, my ex, my ex-boyfriend or husband tended to do those things too. So this is toxic behavior in general, okay? Not just to women, but mostly women, and also a lot of toxic men, okay? Because men use physical, they use their strength, their size, we have more testosterone, whereas women don't. Women have less testosterone. They're not gonna be as physically aggressive. It doesn't serve them as well. What serves them as well is socially, relationally, in relationships, okay? So, um, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Some of the signs of ultra-aggressive women, okay, and some toxic men. So, like I said before, aggression is profound in human history, okay? Aggression is a reaction to a threat, right? So, women's aggression may look like um, passive aggression, passive-aggressive women, lying, Manipulation, exaggeration, gossip, uh-huh, gossip, right? Microaggression, microaggression. What is microaggression? Indirect, subtle, or unintentional discrimination against members of a marginalized group. So women even attacking other people in their groups, in their social groups. Women do that sometimes, don't they? We've all seen it. Um, so women are biologically wired for social networking, okay? That's, that's been proven by a study by financesonline.com. So while men, and we can look at social media, the way that social media is used. Um, women tend to use social media a little more, but differently. So not only do they use social media maybe a little more, but men tend to use social media more for business, more on the business side, whereas women will do it more for uh, social networking, you know? So something that's profound with a lot of very aggressive, ultra aggressive women is that victim identity, that victim identity. Women can get social currency by being a victim. Um, and, and let me use just the most extreme example, let's say Munchausen syndrome by proxy, Munchausen where the mother poisons the child for attention. Poor me, poor my child, poor me. Okay, that's extreme, right? That's extreme. Um, 
but it's still there. It's still profound, guys. Um, so I think we've all seen this, but it's, it's important to identify this type of ultra-aggressive behavior. Very important. Because it's damaging not only to the individual, but society. And it will damage groups, these marginalized groups that I talked about. These types of groups can be very damaged, very poisoned, very toxic, turn into something very toxic and bad by other women trashing other people. Women will be aggressive in a way that attacks people's character and really go for the jugular of who they are. Um, and, you know, they'll attack things. You know, aggression is attacking, okay? So some women, lots of women, may be aggressive by attacking other people's livelihood, character assassination, social status, self-esteem. Uh, women will form false alliances. I've seen that way more common with women than men, uh, where, you know, not too many men have those fake friends to keep around, where women will, you know, uh, be friends with one person out of the group, talk really bad about the other women, Call them up and be friends with them too. Be friends with all of them, but talking bad about all of them. Attacking different ones. I think that's more profound with women. As women are more socially aggressive, whereas men are more physically aggressive. So both equally bad. But I think the physical aggression is easier to identify. You know, without me getting into the very, very finite examples of this. Like I said before, the sexual, physical, financial, verbally things like this, whereas a, a, where women's aggression tends to be that social, and it just really can poison society. So I hope that helps. And, you know, as always, guys, go down below and ask me any questions you have about this or anything that you would like to add. There's a lot of information about this stuff out there. I tried to keep this video fairly short and sweet today. Um, if you would like, tell me, I'll talk about this more, or like I said, you have more questions, just go down below and ask me anything you want. Okay, guys, and add stuff. Okay. Thank you. Uh, more than anything, love yourself first, and I will see you again. Bye-bye.